welcome to Seth's Daily Podcast. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. I want to thank you guys for subscribing. We're uh, blessed enough to have an interview with Roy Cottle. How are you doing tonight, man? Hey, man, I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing great, man. And uh, I know you uh, just had a video on TikTok that has 200-plus K views, right? That's really impressive, man, if you want to talk about how that uh, happened and stuff. Yeah, man. Well, uh, it all started with uh, I sent an email to uh, Kentucky Music Mafia, and uh, I sent a link to one of my videos, you know, just me singing a cappella. And, uh, you know, Shannon, he got back up with me. He's like, dude, you're killer. He said, i uh, like to do some music with you. And, uh, you know, I was just doing videos, and, and uh, me and Shannon was going to get together with, you know, Kentucky Music Mafia and stuff and do some collab work, get in the studio. And uh, I don't know, man, I was just here one night. Uh, I was off work and I got this idea for a song and I just started writing and I did the video and well, I did part of it and sent it to Shannon, man. He's like, do you care if I share this on my TikTok, Instagram, all that? I'm like, sure, man. And, uh, I mean, that was just a couple of days ago, man. It just blew up. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm still in kind of like, oh, you know, because I'm like, I didn't even think I was really good enough personally myself, but I had everybody around me tell me like, man, you, you need to push it. You need to be something, you know, you got this talent. And I, I don't know. It's just, it's blew my mind. It really has. <laughs> yeah, man. It's definitely a uh, weird waking up. Like just average guy. Like, like um, this is just me personally. Like waking up and being just the average guy from a redneck guy from Eastern Kentucky, <laughs> and yeah. the next day you're getting uh, messages of people knowing you out in public and stuff. It's definitely weird. Yeah, yeah, man. That's uh, well, I can't say that I've been noticed yet, but I haven't been out much. I've been working all week, so. Uh, but I mean, there's been, I mean, a massive amount of comments on the video, just saying stuff like. Uh, He's better than Luke Combs. Him and Luke Combs <laughs> get together and do a duet. Uh, uh, he's the next Luke Combs in the making. I guess where Luke's a big boy, you know, they're comparing me to him where I'm kind of hefty, you know. But I don't uh, see it. I think you got a different, way different. I think you're better than Luke Combs. That's just, uh, I might get some hate for that because there's a lot of Luke Combs stands out there. So I'll probably get a lot of hate for that. <laughs> I think you're better well, than Luke I, I'm, not gonna say, well. I'm not going to say I'm better than Luke Combs because I'm not. I mean, I don't claim myself to be better than anybody, but I do claim myself to be kind of unique. You know what I mean? Like, I, I believe that I've got a different voice than everybody else does, which that's not a bad thing. That's actually a good thing because that's what people look for, something different. Yeah, that's definitely not a bad thing, man. Because uh, just like with podcasting, if you talk about the same old things every day, you're just not – you're not going to get a lot of views if you're just going to talk about the same old things on podcasts. Yeah. I got to talk about different stuff. I have different people on, and uh, I got a surprise interview or not for people. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, yeah, man. And you're uh, – I like your voice. It is very unique. You're right about that. And that's a good thing because you don't want to sound like these uh, other country singers out there. Definitely. Right. Right. Well, you know what, man? I'm, I, like I said, I'm a big fan of Luke Combs. Luke Combs, he's got some pipes and he can not only sing country, he can sing like pop music. He can sing rock music. He's got that rasp, you know, in his voice, uh, kind of like Chris Stapleton in a way. Chris Stapleton's got that rasp. He's got the bluesy feel to him, you know. And I like all genres of music, you know. Just like when I saw Kentucky Music Mafia, you know, they're more like country rap. And that's getting really big right now. You know, Up Church is the one set the game for that. But, I mean, that, that stuff's becoming big, man. And, and like I think those guys, you know, Kentucky Music Mafia is going to be really, really big in the country rap game. Them guys have got some stuff going on that, I think it's going to blow up. I mean, they've already get shows and getting views, and uh, they're just super talented guys, man. They sure are. 
Yeah, they're really good people too. Yeah, yeah, they're uh, Shannon's one of the best guys I've ever met, man. Uh, uh, him and Wes, you know, Wes Shit, man, he's awesome. His song, My Old Man, I, I've been jamming that like all week, you know. I mean, uh, I, I, I love everything them boys are doing right now, and they're on the right track. Man. Well, shout out to Wes. Wes is one of the best people out there, man. He is a really good dude, and he's one of the most talented people out there as well. Yeah, man, he's he's got a set of pipes on him, too, you know. He, um, and he, he's got a unique voice, too, man. That's uh, he, he reminds me, like his songs remind me of an Eric Church feel. And I've seen him saying that he liked Eric Church a lot and stuff. And I could tell that in his music. You know, he's got that kind of vibe to him, you know. Yeah, I believe he said that in uh, my interview, uh, our inter- my interview with him a couple of days ago. I believe he said that. Yeah, I think that's where I saw that was your podcast. I remember watching it. Yeah. Him and his sister absolutely killed it on their duet. I don't know if you seen I, that. I did, man. Their harmonies were insane. Like, uh, they, I guess where they've sung so long together, you know, it's just like uh, normal to them. But that's hard to do with somebody, you know, to harmonize like that. Yeah. And uh, speaking of Kentucky Music Mafia, I got the hat on. <laughs> yeah, man, ripping, ripping the merch. Yes, sir, man. Uh, they're really good people and very talented. Uh, my favorite song by them is, uh, have you heard the song, The Place That I Call Home? Oh, man, yeah. Yeah, I love that song. Yeah, man, that, that song is a very A-string. It's it, it, it just, that song is very A-string and Tucky, too, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It was actually filmed at Buckhorn Lake. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I remember watching the video, and it says, Welcome to Perry County. And uh, I, I was trying to look at the layout and see where it was filmed at, but I couldn't really place it. I've not been to Buckhorn a lot, but. Yeah, me either, man. I ain't been to Buckhorn in about five or six years. But is Luke Holmes your biggest inspiration in music, or? No, no. I mean. Don't get me wrong, he's 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 an excellent singer, man. And he's probably one of the better ones in the newer country music today. Uh, but my all-time favorites would have to be it would either be Keith Whitley or George Strait. Yeah. You know, them them two influenced me a lot, you know. Them two was uh on the country music Mount Rushmore for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, you know we lost Keith way too early, man. He had so much. He had so much more to, to say. I, I hated that. You know, I, he he died before I was born, and but my grandparents raised me, and I just grew up on all that old music. My papa, he listened to Vern Gosden, Keith Whitley, uh, Hank Senior. Uh, Merle Haggard, Waylon, Willie, you know, George Jones, all the good stuff, man. It's, they don't make music like that anymore. No, they definitely don't. <laughs> and uh, people like you are bringing that music back, you and Wes Ship for sure, and Kentucky Music I, Mafia. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. And I, I try, man. It's like a uh, everybody kept uh, saying on the comments on the TikTok video, you know, Kentucky, Kentucky's bringing real country music back, and this boy is uh, uh, the best thing I've heard since Randy Travis. That's a big compliment because Randy Travis had such a unique voice too, and he had so much emotion when he put in this thing. And it's them guys back in the day they they just knew how to sing and make you feel it. You know, today's country music crop. They go out and sing what makes a hit. If it's a party song, got a good beat, and you can drink to it. That's just the way I feel. Like they're, they're just pop, you know, knockoffs of the real thing kind of pop deal. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Pop country is not my thing. <laughs> yeah. It, it's got to the point where it's bad where they say the real country is outlaw country. That That's the point it's got to now. Yeah, yep, for sure. And uh, I don't think Johnny Cash or uh, Keith Whitley or uh, 
George Strait or any of them are uh, would have been. I know George Strait is still alive, but I'm sure George Strait's not happy about that, and I'm sure they wouldn't be happy about that either. How pop it's got. Man, they just had they they all had their own style, and I believe that they put their own creative work into it. And if Keith or uh, you know, one of the old singers were to listen to this stuff today. If if the label was like, hey, you have to sing this, I believe that they would just like, no, I'm going to sing what I want to sing. And, you know, you keep your contracts, you know. Because the, the, I, I, I believe they had integrity and pride back in the day, and they believed what they sang. And a lot of them lived it. So, you know, I, I just don't think they would sing this new country style. I really don't. Yeah, and George Strait definitely has him. I, George, I don't care what anybody says, he's the king of country music. As far as hit wise, 60 number one hits. There is not a man in this world that can say that but him. <laughs> I like how you know the numbers. <laughs> I mean, I I used to have his greatest hit CD, and now I just got it all downloaded on my phone. But yeah, that's all. It's all digital nowadays, you know. Yeah. which ain't a bad thing. No, no, it ain't a bad thing. It's a lot easier to get out there, you know. A lot easier for people to hear music they normally wouldn't be able to hear, you know. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm going to get a lot of – well, I'm not going to say that. I was about to say something about our local music scene that would have made a lot of people mad. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> but I'm just huh. saying there is some talented people around here that are not getting booked for shows. What, what is wrong with the local venue? Why are we not – why are we – there? there is some great people that are getting booked, don't get me wrong, but I'm, there's, like, great country singers that aren't getting booked. It doesn't make any sense to me. Man, you know how many talented people – but I've actually got on YouTube and just heard sing, people sing covers of songs, man, and, and people sing original stuff that they've got that I say, hey, man, they're so good. Why are they not on the radio? And then you see what comes out today and see what the young generation likes. I mean, it's, it's I don't know, man. It's just the labels want to appeal to the young people because they think it's going to make them more money. But yet, in, in truth, if they got the young people into the, the real countryside of country music, they would love it more than this party stuff that they're putting out today. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, I, I know uh, I like being – I like camp a lot and stuff. And there's, like, young people that, like, camp and stuff down at the local campground, and they listen to uh, not today's country, old country. I hear uh, Johnny Cash play. That's a good one. Yeah, I hear what is it? Ain't no grave that can hold my body down. That's the song that I hear them play. <laughs> and YouTube, don't copy you, strike me for that. Said <laughs> <laughs> the name of the song, don't copy it, strike me. <laughs> oh, god, that's how crazy YouTube be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, uh, if uh, it keeps going the way it's going, I'm still going to use YouTube and stuff. But Facebook has been way better to me. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's awesome, besides, besides the Joe Ted I interviewed that has 8.9K. Besides right. that, so, I, so YouTube, please don't take my channel down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, but, yeah, man, your, uh, your voice is uh, really good. And I know there is uh, – I can't say any names, but I, w I will give a shout out to one venue that does get a lot of local talent there, and that is uh, Broken Throne Brewing in Pikeville, Kentucky. The way they do it, I love it. Yeah, man, that's awesome. I'm, I'm glad that they're getting real good talent and giving them a place for them guys to play, you know. Yeah, shout out to Broken Throne Brewing. But uh, I know you got a uh, are you wanting to play a song for us? Or? Uh yeah, man, I can. Okay. What uh is this original or uh no, uh I'm gonna keep the original stuff to myself for now. <laughs> uh you know I gotta try. <laughs> yeah, well 
you know, we got some things in the works and we're going to try to uh, get some, uh, get in the studio and release some stuff on iTunes, some good stuff like that, man. Um, but uh, let me uh, situate here. Try to think of a song to play. Oh, you think, uh, I seen you do a real good job on Heaven Wasn't So Far Away. Yeah, man, uh, I just come home from work today and it's just messing around a little bit, you know. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Well. Sing a little cheats, how about that? Yeah, man, you killed it. 
<laughs> Sorry about forgetting the words a little bit. That's I'm a little rusty, man. I need to sit down and practice a little bit. Oh, you killed it, man. You did, a, you did a great job for sure, man. I sure appreciate it, man. And do you have a uh, – I know you got a TikTok, right? You just created one? Yeah. It's uh, at Roy Lee Coddle. If anybody wants to add me. All right. Send me the link through Messenger, and I'll put it in the description on YouTube. Your All right. Man, that'll, that'll work. All right. Do you got anything, any shows or anything upcoming? Uh, as of right now, uh, not yet, but there's some stuff in the works. Uh, just everybody wants to stay tuned. Um, you know, keep checking with me, Kentucky Music Mafia. You know, those guys, we're going to be putting some stuff out here shortly and maybe some shows come available. So just keep checking in with us. And sure, man. And uh, I want to thank you for being on. I want to thank uh, Roy Cottle for being on, and I want to thank him for performing as well. Y'all have a good night, and uh, God bless.